So you know you should be working, but you find yourself scrolling on your phone, texting somebody, and this is not the first time that you have been doing everything except what you should be doing. This is procrastination and there is a neurological reason behind this. Procrastination isn't just your brain being lazy. It is actually your brain employing a very clever strategy that has gone horribly wrong. But thankfully, there is a neuroscientific way of fixing this as well. That is what we'll talk about in today's video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do so, you will see a lot more such useful videos on your timeline. I'm Dr. Siddharth Warrior, I'm a neurologist, and let's talk about how to break procrastination. So let's talk about the typical procrastination loop. We wait to feel motivated to do something. That motivation never comes in. We wait around doing other things and eventually you feel guilty and you give up. Now the flaw in this thinking is that we think that motivation needs to come before action. But this is neuroscientifically inaccurate. You see, motivation is a dopamine-based event. So let me take out the old iPad and quickly explain how motivation works in your brain. In your brain, there is an old part called as the limbic system, which is the primitive ancient part of the brain that controls your emotion and core impulses. And then there is the prefrontal cortex, which is the newly evolved part of the brain, which is rational, calculating and helps you plan the future. Now, dopamine comes from the limbic system and it plays a very important role in evolution for making animals do something. So if an animal had to go out and hunt something, or find something to eat or find a partner to mate with, dopamine is that chemical that would motivate that animal to go do these things. Which is why dopamine is the motivation molecule. But the problem is that all the things that animals are motivated by are short-term things. Hunt for food, find the food, eat the food and done. Find a partner, mate with a partner, done. So dopamine was never meant to stick around for too long until human beings came into the picture. Because in human beings and also some other animals in some species that have a evolved prefrontal cortex, dopamine acts on the prefrontal cortex to plan long-term things. And this is where the story gets difficult. Because if you want to do something that is hard or dangerous and will not give you a reward immediately, your brain is confused because your limbic system says, why not do something that gives me pleasure right now? Whereas your prefrontal cortex says, why not do something that will give us safety and comfort in the long run? And whenever this conflict between limbic and PFC doesn't get resolved, you end up procrastinating. And more often than not, you will end up choosing what the limbic system tells you to do. Which is why you never procrastinate on eating sweet foods or high calorie foods or watching any adult entertainment or watching Netflix, just chilling on your couch, doing nothing. All these things will give your limbic system a lot of pleasure and so there is no procrastination when you do these things. But going to work, attending a class, answering emails, learning something new and complicated, these are tasks that your prefrontal cortex has to put in energy. And your brain calculates that why should I do this when I can find pleasure much more easily doing this other thing. Now, unfortunately, every marketing company, every brand and every social media app in the world has figured this out. So basically, you are not procrastinating. You are making what your brain thinks is the smarter choice for you. So if you want to stop procrastinating, you need to teach your brain on how to think like it's 2025 and not 2000 BC. So how do you do it? Think of your motivation as a staircase. Now, every step is an action that you can take that requires increasing amounts of dopamine or increasing amount of motivation. Now, suppose if you want to go to the gym and that requires the highest level of motivation, which is level 10, and you happen to be in level one, you cannot directly go to the gym because you simply don't have enough dopamine, enough motivation in you to do that. So the way to get to level 10 is to first get from level one to level two and eventually build up to level nine and 10. This is the staircase model of motivation and it works beautifully in overcoming procrastination. So how do you use the staircase model? Step one is to start small. If you have a task that you want to do but you're struggling to do it, don't keep trying to do the entire task 
immediately. Find a much smaller task that you can begin with and as you start doing that you will find you are getting more and more motivated to get to the next step. Second thing you have to remember is movement triggers dopamine. Now this is a cyclical thing because you need dopamine to move but if you move you get dopamine. So if you find yourself lying on the couch having no motivation to do anything, do this. Get up and walk around the room for two minutes before deciding anything. Now after you are done walking around the room with your arms swinging, now ask yourself do you feel like going to the gym or not? And chances are that simply by moving around the room you will find more motivation. And in fact if you can't even find motivation to walk around, just lift your hands and clench and unclench your fist 10 times and ask yourself can you now get up and walk around? Simply by moving your fingers or moving your arms, what you are doing is you are increasing dopamine level in your brain and that leads to more motivation to do harder tasks later. And finally step 3, now that you are primed and motivated, doing the harder tasks, things that requires more calculation and thinking will become easier for you. Remember that it is action that creates motivation and not the other way around. So what are the traps that people fall into when trying to get things done? The first trap is to wait for the perfect time or the perfect way. Remember that perfectionism is a form of procrastination. There is no perfect way of doing anything. There is only the next way and the better way. The other mistake that people make is multitasking. Multitasking gives you small dopamine spikes across multiple areas because you've started a lot of things but it takes a lot more motivation to sustain something and because your dopamine runs out you'll find that you've started a lot of things but you are not able to finish any of them. And the third trap is over planning because that is also a form of procrastination. If you keep thinking about what will I do if this happens or that happens, you are actually trying to postpone decision making into the future. So that is the gist of the video. Whatever it is that you're attempting to do in life right now, start moving. Go for a quick walk around your room, around your house and then ask yourself how do you feel. There's a reason why they say that the first step is the hardest. Take that first step, build momentum and you'll find that procrastination becomes less and less of a problem. All the best guys. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye everyone. Take care.